Hey guys, this is Mark from Tribeca Beverage. Uh, today I want to review Essentia and uh, give you the breakdown of my opinion and rating of the popular alkaline water brand Essentia. So stay tuned, watch the entire video, hear my feedback, uh, see what you guys think. But uh, this episode is dedicated to sharing my thoughts and opinions on the water brand Essentia. All right, so anyway, if, uh, if any of you guys are big alkaline water drinkers, you probably have seen uh, on many shelves, and if not even sought after, Essentia, the, uh, what is typically known for their black label with red in it, um, or at least that's what a lot of customers uh, often point out when they find the Essentia bottle. It's probably, at this point, the most popular water, at least in America, that I've seen or what, you know, when I speak to customers about when it comes to a higher pH or that 9.5 pH when it comes to alkaline water. And they have done a better job, in my opinion, probably the best job in the nation in terms of marketing themselves. Uh, so what I want to do is cover, you know, everything kind of from A to Z between the pH, the uh, whether or not, or just share with you guys in general a little bit about Essentia. I don't know, I just want to share knowledge of Essentia with you guys. I, I don't know how to word, uh, word it, I don't know. And then if you guys find it valuable, fantastic. If not, well, there's other videos of other brands that maybe you'll enjoy watching too. I don't know. What stands out that's unique about the Essentia bottle when you first look at it is the, again, it also had the bold shape, kind of like the Smart Alkaline Water, a little bit different shape, uh, but more so the amount of information packed into this bottle. This is the one liter. What you really often see is the one and a half liter or one liter bottle. I think I bought this at a convenience store at a gas station and I paid, I think, $2.89. It was pretty expensive. There's probably many other better deals, but I was just quickly trying to get this. But when you look at the bottle, it really comes with a lot of information. We're here to put a flag in the ground and tell the world, we're here to put a flag in the ground and tell the world that a better you starts with a better water. Hashtag Essentia Nation. This is on the bottle. I, I don't see this. I, 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 maybe it's in the website too. This is my first time actually looking at the bottle in greater detail. I, I, I don't I don't know if anybody knows that uh, um, hashtag or quote from Essentia, but uh, maybe the bigger fans, uh, but they really have a lot of information in there. And I guess it's a, it's a good start to let them know the kind of the customer base, the message that they're trying to set forth and how they believe in a better water would create a better you. Pretty empowering for a uh, bottled water company. I don't know many other brands that would often, you know, Fiji, Nestle Pure Life, Dasani Aquavana, that uh, really kind of put so much emphasis on uh, how much their water can do for you. But uh, so there is something that's interesting that Essentia has on their website, and I know because I've looked at it many times, and then also on their bottle here. And, and I want to read this because I just uh, from having our own water delivery company, I, I run into this issue quite a bit because our water is also purified. Our proprietary process turns water from any source into supercharged ionized alkaline water. It's even too pure to be tested by pH strips. Okay, what that means is when people think of testing water, they use a pH strip, makes sense. It happens all the time for pools. Uh, for purified water though, the pH strips aren't that accurate. I, I'm not a scientist, but my guess is it's because the amount of TDS is too low. Basically, there's not enough stuff in the water to really get an accurate reading this is a prime example. I'm actually glad that they put it on their bottle. Oh, one of the common issues that we ran into, even with our own water, is the fact that if you use a pH strip, the water would come back acidic or not alkaline or you know whatever rating, and the pH strip never really came back and gave an accurate representation of the water. I've quoted Essentia's website many occasions because uh, I did because I wanted to use another source other than my own, particularly a pretty well-known brand that also ran into the same issue. I guess they see this um, review quite frequently. I don't know if this was always on their bottle, but it is interesting that they did include that because it probably solves a lot of concern for people that you use the pH strip and test it and don't get that 9.5 reading or nowhere even close to 9.5 reading. And then when we go over the ingredients, uh, purified water, they use reverse osmos osmosis, sodium bicarbonate, dipotassium phosphate, probably screwed that one up, magnesium sulfate, calcium chloride, uh, electrolytes for taste, the bottle is recyclable. Uh, and then the other thing to point out too that's on their bottle, it was bottled in Washington state. Okay, so the reason why that's relevant is 
we're here or I'm physically located in New Jersey. Uh, obviously, they sell New Jersey, New York, all over the country. When you see the expensive price tag for a century of water, part of the reason for that is the shipping is so expensive to bring it all the way from Washington to the other side of the country. Now, it may still be just as expensive in like the California area or anywhere on the West Coast, even though the shipping is obviously far less. But to justify the cost, and, and again, I think they want to keep a consistent cost across the board, but to ship water that far costs a ton of money for the company. And uh, the retail stores are probably a little bit more, if I had to guess, and I haven't shopped for this in California, but I would think a little bit more competitive on the West Coast between Washington, Seattle, um, or wherever they might have another bottler. Um, I don't know if there's any, it just says this was bottled in Washington. That doesn't mean there aren't other bottlers out there that might be a little bit more closer. But if this is the case, that would also be a reason why they would charge me $2.89 for this because shipping water is expensive. It does add up. You know, we, we know it from our kind of own personal, you know, experience with water. And then the other thing too is it's got a really good grip, similar to Smart Water. And then the design is just really well done. I, I really love the label on this bottle. I, I, you know, it stands out when I see it in the stores. I, I, I'm not as big a fan. If you've ever seen their 12 pack with one and a half liter, it's just a black box. It, it doesn't really share that it's in water. Uh, the bottles itself, I feel like are so much presentable than the, uh, those 12 packs. Um, but if you are a big Essentia fan, uh, there was many customers that I would speak to that seemed like they literally would spend, whether it's on Amazon.com ordering it, 25, 30 bucks a case, or they'd literally go, uh, at least prior to working with us, um, and drop, you know, get four cases of the tw of the 12 pack for 18 liters and spend anywhere from 80 to $90. This of course adds up very, very quickly. What I wanna do is just dive into the website for you real quick and give you a little bit of a breakdown. All right, so if you go to their website, uh, the one thing that they do that I think they really proud about uh, or speak highly of within their bottle is if you look at the bottle, it'll say ionized water. The website itself does a little quick video about how they supercharge their water uh, and remove any acidic ions. I, I don't know the science behind it. I don't know if this is more for smoke and mirrors or they're actually making a big impact in their pH with this. I know they add electrolytes and I, I would imagine from my, uh, you know, my research here that the electrolytes of the added minerals are probably making the biggest impact on the pH. I don't know exactly what the ionization is doing for the water, not to say it's not doing a lot. I just don't know and I can't find as many details on their website. And the big thing is too, back to the ionization, even in their, uh, when, when, it, when asked what makes Essentia better on the bottle, our proprietary process turns water from any source into supercharged ionized alkaline water. My guess is they're taking municipal water. I, I don't know the particular source that I don't want to claim to. It says it was bottled in the, uh, Washington, but my guess is they're taking municipal water, probably not just in Washington, but I would think a few other locations just for logistics reasons. And they are, in fact, ionizing that water as well as uh, purif purifying by reverse osmosis and as well as adding the minerals. So the reason why they, uh, I don't know if they're international or not, but I'm sure they're trying to be if they're not. Um, but they probably are making this water, my guess, from a municipal source from multiple for multiple locations. All right, in terms of the marketing, all right, so Essentia is really good, in my opinion, and I feel like I've seen it on a bunch of TV shows, and again, people aren't necessarily looking for it, but they might recognize the label. Okay, and even on their website, when it comes to the marketing, there's actually a picture of Patrick Mahomes drinking the water, which again, pretty timely within the Super Bowl. I don't know how long they've had that on the website, but whatever they're doing, you know, it, it seems like a similar strategy to Smart Water Alkaline. They're really putting these bottles in the hands of as many celebrities as possible. They're trying to hit social media hard, and I guess it's working. It seems like that seems that when it comes to the bottled water industry, kind of one of the best ways to get your name and brand out there. So when it comes to like the taste of Essentia, I think I like the taste a lot. Um, I actually like the taste of this a lot. I think it's pretty good. The water tastes clean, crisp. You know, I could see why people continue to drink this water. I don't think there's any issues really in terms of taste in that capacity. What I wanted to show you guys is the pH, because again, the pH, this is their, their claim to fame, 9.5 pH. I've tested this a bunch of times. There's other videos of me testing it. There's videos all over the place, uh, but I want to take a real test for you right now and show you what the water looks like, and I'll put it in the glass. Give me, if you bear with me one second. 
All right, guys, so I wanted to do a quick pH test for you of the water, show you exactly what, what the pH comes in. This is the Essentia bottle. We're pouring in here. This glass bottle. Um, hopefully you'll be able to see well with the color. This right here is the high pH tester. This is built for uh, water that is alkaline in general. So if it's not alkaline, it uh, or if it's barely alkaline, it'll come back yellow. If it's very alkal very alkaline, it'll come back purple. I just wanted to give you a quick breakdown of that. And then here is a couple drops in. All right, so if you see, if you can see over here, it comes back incredibly purple. Bring it a little bit closer to the camera. Uh, it is in fact definitely alkaline. Uh, sometimes when I test this pH, I feel like it's come back more alkaline than in the past, but sometimes depending on what's going on uh, with the particular bottle, maybe where it's stored, how long it's been sitting around, the pH can fluctuate a bit. In this case, it does look like it's not as purple as I've seen in the past or as purple as I've actually seen it in other videos. All right, so, all right, so to break this down, to give you the final rating or what my opinion of Essentia is, a um, couple different criteria, right? We've got taste, we've got cost, We've got the packaging. I think they knock it out of the park with the uh, cost, uh, or I'm sorry, they don't knock it out of the park with cost. I think they knock it out of the park with the uh, the bottle itself. I think it's very nice. I think the taste is definitely up there. But when it comes to the price, so in this particular example, I bought this at a convenience store. I paid two dollars and eighty nine cents for it. That's a ton of money. But again, I'm sure I would pay a premium for any bottle that I got, considering this is only a liter. That was much worse than what I paid for the uh, Smart Water I got the other week in a. Uh, Shop right, I think that was like a dollar eighty nine. It's like a full dollar more and about the same size. But again, in a convenience store, you're bound to pay a lot more money than you should. The twelve packs. So typically, what I've seen in terms of container, they'll they'll have six packs or twelve packs. Some of a liter, some of a liter half. Um, but the problem is the twelve packs you'll get pay sometimes depending on the store over twenty twenty four dollars for a twelve pack, and then sometimes with sales tax, uh, sometimes you'll see a six pack for twelve dollars or one liters. Overall, the price is very, very high for what you are getting, right? And, and the water might be excellent, and I'm not doubting that at all, but you do pay. This is probably one of the most expensive brands and also probably one of the most known brands when it comes to alkaline water. And the taste is good. You know, I, I, I like this brand. I, th I think it tastes great. I, I think it's uh, easy to drink. And I think a lot of feedback overall is people are pretty happy with the taste of Essentia. So... I'm kind of right there with the majority of the world when it comes to that. Out of 10, I'd probably give this an 8.5. It's, it's too hard to go any bit higher than that. But anyways, guys, thanks so much for listening. Really appreciate you taking the time to hear us out. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, check out other videos as well. We're trying to put up a review video at least once or twice a week for the other competitors' water bottles you know, in the bottled water industry.